Bismillah Rahman Rahim. In this video, we will see how to install WAM server and CS Pro and how to configure the CS web server. In order to successful installation and run the WAM server, please make sure that you have installed following Microsoft Visual C++ redistributable packages 2008, 10, 12, 13, 15 and 17. How to install WAM server on Windows 10. First, you need to download BAM Server 3.2.6 64-bit from www.bamserver.com. This link is also available in the description as well. Visit the BAM Server website in your web browser and then click BAM Server 64-bits. Click on the download directly link to start downloading. Double click the downloaded file to launch the WAM installer. Select your preferred language and press OK. Under the license agreement, click on the I accept the agreement radio button and then click on the next button. Click on the next button. Choose a location folder to install the WAM server and click on the next button. We are not making any changes over here. Just press next button. Select the start menu folder and press next button. Ready to install window will appear on the screen and then click install button. Now select the default browser. If you want to change default browser, then press no, otherwise yes. We are going to change default browser, so press yes. Now select the default text editor. If you want to change default text editor, then press no, otherwise yes. We are going to use default text editor, so press no. On the information screen, press next button. Click on the finish button. After installation of web server, you can download CS web server from the following link. This link is also available in the description as well. Click on the given link for CS web 7.7 to start downloading. Unzip downloaded CS web 7.7. Copy the root directory of your CS Web 7.7 .7 project to drive colon slash WAM64 slash www slash CS Web 7.7. .7. In my case, the result will be look like C colon slash WAM64 slash www slash CS Web 7.7. .7. We will rename CS Web 7.7 .7 as CS Web Test. If you don't want to rename, then it is okay. You can download CS Pro from the following link. This link is available in the description as well. Click on the given link for CS Pro 7.7.1 .7 to start downloading. Double click the downloaded file to launch the CS Pro installer. Under the license agreement, click on the I agree button. On the choose components screen, click on the next button. If you want to install in a different folder, then click browse and select another folder. If you want to install in the current folder, then just click on the install button. Installation has been done successfully. Click on the finish button. Now I will explain how to create database and configure CS web server. Before configuring CS web server, we will create database in PHP my admin. Start the web server through its shortcut on the desktop. When the web server starts, its icon in the taskbar becomes green. Initially it will be red, then turn into amber color and then into green. When it runs green, it means all the services are running fine. 
click on the web server icon in the taskbar and then select the php my admin 5.1.1 under the php admin heading the default username is root default password is empty press go button to access php my admin dashboard to create database and password click on the new in the left side pane or click on the database to create database give your database name our database name is test application and then press create your database has been created now you can see your database name in the left side pane now click on the privileges tab to set root password under the action heading click on edit privileges click change password on this screen root password will be entered twice and then press go button root password has been set now log out from the php my admin dashboard now you cannot log in without password after successfully login our password has been verified now we are going to configure cs web server in our browser navigate to localhost slash cs web test slash setup the setup script will first check to make sure your server meets the prerequisites if your server meets the prerequisites then the script will ask for the last few configuration details press next button to continue enter the database name which we created before in php my admin this will typically be localhost by default this will be root enter the password which we created before in php my admin create a password to pair with the default user admin to log into the web application in the last verify the final two fields for our project the path to file directory is c colon backslash vam64 backslash www backslash cs web test backslash files for cs web api url is http colon slash slash localhost slash cs web test slash api slash if everything is correct you click on the next button and receive the setup complete message from here login using admin as the username and cs web admin password you just created after successfully login in cs web server you can see the dashboard it means your cs web server is working fine i hope now you have understand how to install web server in cs pro and how to configure cs web server keep learning and goodbye